Daniel 4.34a, Ka'an Ana Nebuchadnezzar, Meshabach, Uma Romaim, Uma Hadar, Lamelech Shemaya. And that brings us to this Zakev Katon. So back to the beginning. This is an adverb, meaning now, with that Gershayim there to give us a little pause. Now, I... Nebuchadnezzar, so that's Nebuchadnezzar's name right there, and then the Revia. Next up, we have the Sheen Beit Chet verbal root, and it means praise. This is going to be a Pa'el participle masculine singular. We see, of course, the double middle radical right there. We have a conjunction coming up next, and a Polel participle masculine singular from the verbal root Resh. Vav, Mem. Now, the hollow roots, which is to say Vav or Yod in the middle, will generate a polel in Hebrew and Aramaic. This happens to be the only polel. And the Resh, Vav, Mem verbal root actually has a G. Here's the D. There's a TD and a C version. The C is an Afel. So very interesting. This means extol in this case. And this is the only case of it being in the polel and the only polel in biblical Aramaic. But again, it's generated from the form. That's why we have polel and not pa'el as we expect here. Okay, so continuing on. Fav and then and glorify. This is a pa'el participle masculine singular from he dalit resh. And continuing on glorifying. And then this is the direct object marking Lamed, the king of the heavens, so the king of heaven. Now, altogether, we have, now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and glorify the king of heaven, or the king of the heavens. And that's an unusual way of referring to God. It seems to be kind of like the thing a pagan would say, because we don't see any Hebrews saying that in the Bible. In fact, in Jeremiah 7, 18, we have the queen of heaven that also has a Lamed in the front, as does this verse. So this is Nebuchadnezzar bringing a conclusion to chapter 4.